All right. Wait. <laughs> Can't like, I got this lapel mic here, and it sucks. Like, it's the worst thing in the world. You know what that reminded me of? What? Have you ever seen Bobby Beers with red lapel? <laughs> I didn't think so. You did, Chewy? Yeah. All right. Welcome guys, we're back. This guy's back. I'm back. Now these videos are gonna be, get better. I actually have been working, thank you very much. I have a really crazy schedule, beyond crazy. We decided we're gonna do a video today, top 10 favorite bass players. Favorite bass players, world's greatest musicians. It was really hard for me to come up, you know, most people don't know the names of bass players, myself included. Not to take anything away from bass players. You know, you usually know like the name of the singer and maybe the guitar player. You know, that, that's very true. I'm not gonna take too much offense to it because it's true. For whatever reason, bass players are just, you know, in the back. He doesn't know the names that I chose, but we're gonna do, I guess it'd be kind of like top 10. We're gonna do five and five, mm -hmm. half and half, 50, 50. Half and half. We're gonna go down five, four, three, two, one, right? Yeah. To our favorite bass player. So you're- Oh, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. So we're going back, okay. Yeah. Number five, the bass player I chose for my fifth who I feel is very, very underrated, especially for the time that this band came out. If you really just sit down and dissect their music, the bass just carries it. My number five is Robert DeLeo from Stone Temple Pilots. To me, he's just incredible. I love everything he does. So my number five, I really hate to put him as number five because he's just so amazing, but Les Claypool. <laughs> Wah, wah. <laughs> I, I love Les Claypool because, well, obviously he's a very talented, very skilled yeah. bass oh, yeah. player. If you don't know who Les Claypool is, just listen to the intro theme song for South Park. Yeah, Going down South Park. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> if you want to know a, a bass player that can pretty much do it all, Les Claypool. His stuff is a little out there. It's a little different. My name is Mud. This is probably one of the coolest songs ever written. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I mean, I, I love Les Claypool. I just, he's on everybody's list. Yeah, you I know, know what I mean? But I, I had to put him because yeah. he was one of the bass players that actually remembered the name. <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk about bass players who no one knows his name. My number four is Paul Denman from Sade. It's no secret, Sade is my number one female singer of all time. I love her, worship her, but Sade wouldn't be Sade without the music. And if you really dissect their music, it's very, very bass heavy. Favorite song of all time kiss of life the baseline is incredible so paul denman is my number four i like that name paul. <laughs> my second is and i don't even know if i'm pronouncing it right i honestly didn't know his name <laughs> wait you're, you're second or you're number four or i mean sorry number four my second uh second to last yeah second to last yeah there you go alex kadenik The original bass player for Incubus. What? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I know him as, uh, they call him Dirk something or other. Well, I don't even like know. Like his nickname is Dirk something. But yes, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 the original, when you listen to the band Incubus, don't listen to any of the last, like, I don't know how many albums. Listen to the first two albums, especially Science, the very first album. Well, even, well, Science and no, the si second one. But Science is not the first album. No, that's true, okay. Fungus, okay. fungus Among Us the is first the first one. mainstream that people really... Yes. Because I didn't know them until Science. Right. But listen to Science, listen to the second album, I don't know what it's called. Make Yourself. Make Myself what? <laughs> Make Yourself do your homework more. <laughs> I love those bass lines, I love the bass tone. I think it's amazing. You know, I'm, I I can't believe I forgot about it. Yeah, he's not even on my list, but I, I wholeheartedly agree with you. Dirk Lance, I think is what his nickname is. Dirk Diggler? <laughs> so my number three is somebody who I know for a fact that in the bass world gets no recognition. So I'm gonna put her out there because she's seriously, well clearly, obviously in my top five. Jenny Lee Lindbergh from War Pain. If you listen to that album, Heads Up, it's very bass heavy. And the things that she does are very 70s, very R&B. It's, it's crazy, I mean, for, for their style of music. Her bass playing is it's, it's ridiculous the things she's, she comes up with. So she's definitely my number three. Yeah, she writes some really catchy bass line. Yes. My next one. Can't see my list. Sorry, sorry. Um, <clears throat> I wrote the name and I don't even remember the band that he's from. <laughs> I never knew these bass players' names before until, oh, yeah. Taylor Rice, do you know who that is? No. Local natives. Ah, oh, you do love them. I love every single musician in that band. 
If you haven't heard local natives, I'm sure you have by now. They blew up. I remember when I heard them, nobody knew who they were, and now everybody knows who they are. And, but and they're supposed to be coming out with a new album soon. In my opinion, his bass lines are a big part of what makes their sound. Really? Yes. See, because you turned me on to them. Mm -hmm. And yes, I love them. But when I listen to local natives, it's their melodies, the vocal melodies, and the fact that they don't have straight like drum beats that caught my ear. So oh, I'm, that's true. I, that's I'm not going to lie. I couldn't hum one bass line for you. Oh my god. <laughs> I turned you on to local natives, but yeah. you just turned me on. <laughs> my number two. Fact, he doesn't get enough recognition. Sadly, we lost him some years back, but he's forever my number two. And I'm talking about Chi Chang from the Deftones. When you listen to the Deftones, again, they're a hard rock act, right? I mean, they're hardcore, new metal, whatever the hell you want to call them. But his style of bass playing, the way he p plays and his melodies and his bass lines over Steph Carpenter's just like straight metal, like it's, it's just the, he opened up my eyes. He he taught me you don't have to just follow the guitar in rock music. That's what I got from him and I will forever love him. This one, I, kn I knew his name and he's just amazing. You probably don't know though. Roy Mitchell Cardenas. Whoa. No, no, no. Roy Mitchell Cardenas, not only is he a bass player, he does keys, he does from mute math. Oh, amazing. Oh, you're right. That guy. Yeah. <sighs> If you want to hear just an amazing band, they're so amazing, but some albums are amazing, some are eh, but it doesn't take away from their musicianship and how amazing they are as an art as artists. Roy Mitchell Cardenas, that guy, he'll jump off of bass and go on to synth, whatever. I think I've even seen him play guitar. Like he does it all and he's yeah. just phenomenal. I think he left the band though. I don't think he's in there anymore. Or did he is he the last one? I don't know. I think Paul Meany, the singer, is like the only one. It's really unfortunate. They're just amazing. You gotta check him out. Yes, definitely in that top 20 best bands of all time. Yeah, I agree. They're phenomenal from the vocals to the music structure, just, just just how they experiment with instruments, period. So, my number one, duh. Hands down, duh. Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. If you saw our last video, you know that I am who I am, what I am, how I am because of him. He started it all in my world, so he will forever be the one and only. I tried, oh, you took out a couple of, I tried, you narrowed it down from 10 to 5. Just real quick, name the, off those five that you, and then I'll give my number one. The other ones were Victor Wooten, a clear obvious, he's phenomenal, he's a god in the bass world. If you're a bass player, you know who he is. I also had Justin Chancellor on there from Tool. I also had Evan Brewer, he's in a metal band called The Faceless, but he does a lot of solo stuff, like on YouTube. I forgot the other ones. Fieldy. <laughs> oh yeah, Fieldy from Korn. Um, and when he said, when he told me Fieldy from Korn, I was like, what? Yeah. But he made me think a little, and I was like, huh, that's true. You know, when Fieldy came on the scene, nobody was doing bass the way he did it. His playing is an extension of the drums. But I mean, if you really break it down, it's just, it's not a whole lot of melody. It's just a lot of that technique that he honestly invented and created. Thinking about Fieldy, one time when I went to go sit down with the guys from P.O.D., they were tripping out because they kept saying that I was, I talked and looked and my demeanor was just like Fieldy. <laughs> I took offense to that, but nah, Philly's a pretty, seems like a pretty cool. Yeah, guy. but back then you wore baggy jeans and Adidas. Yeah. And you had your ears pierced and your hair all spiky. Hot. <laughs> My number one is this one bass player who's like standing right next to me right now. Really? Yeah. I I'm actually gonna say, because I mean, you. Oh, the thing you. is that, here's the difference between most bass players, and it's not just because it's Adrian. Most bass players, they have one style. You know, they have one style and they stick with that style. I mean, all the guys that I named, for example, I mean, Les Claypool, he can do different types. Like, his style is just crazy and weird and out there and just, you're like, what the heck is he doing? Incubus, I mean, beautiful bass lines, flowy bass lines. What you do is you actually take components or you take elements of all these bass players and you apply it to your own bass bass playing. You can be the most technical at playing an instrument, but that doesn't make you a good songwriter. Yeah, I think you kind of have the best of the both worlds because you can be technical and you're a very good songwriter and you're good at applying what kind of a bass line needs to go for what kind of a certain type of song. Thank you. That's that's flattering. I did not expect to make that list. We were actually joking about that when we were talking about our list, and I jokingly said, "Well, your top three are taken because all three of them are me." <laughs> I just couldn't work with any other bass player in any band, unless it was like Flea. <laughs> <laughs>
Honey, the fact that we're best friends <laughs> helps also. You want to talk about no emotion. If you're, you know, into bass, if you're looking into learning bass and you want to get good sounding bass, whether it be from tones or how it's actually played, you want to hear somebody else do it to kind of get an idea of what good bass playing is. Because nowadays, I love electronic music. I absolutely love it. But nowadays with electronic music, you know, a lot of the bass lines are not, they're, they're done electronically. They're not, it's not the skill of actually sitting down and making the bass and you know the way you do it the showmanship of bass playing has now gone underground we have some cool videos coming up we're gonna be actually doing an interview this week with Caesar Soto the guitar player of ministry awesome that's coming up we've got other things in the works with other artists um, really fun stuff for you guys that's it for today remember so, keep smashing that like button 500 subscribers and we're giving away something crazy cool we've already Way cool we've got all this stuff we're compiling all this stuff to give away and our subscriber count is like up down yeah. up down so we're like i think it oh. went down because i haven't been in the last four yeah that's true that might be the, <laughs> that might be the case but yeah we're gonna give away all kinds of cool stuff but we got to get there guys so like subscribe notification button share with your friends please thank you guys for watching bye bye, -bye.